my old school caddy. <laughs> With a diamond in the back. Day 124. 34. 134. And we're back at Pinkham Notch. I'm gonna start tackling the Wildcats. Here in just a moment. What a beautiful day. It's going to be a wet one. There's a flat spot here, sure, but uh, we have begun the ascent of Wildcat E or D, one of them. But now we're in the Wildcats. Jax kind of took off. I think he thinks that we left without him because he was moving quickly out of the parking lot but we were underneath the canopy out of the rain for a second so we're just trying to catch up to him and uh, make sure he knows that we're not ahead of him but we'll see Nice. And we have our first view of the day. We'd be looking back toward Madison over here and something else. And we've barely scratched the surface on this climb, but so far so good. I'd say I'm sweating, which I am, but it's also raining, so. Uh, I'm wet regardless, but I'm nice and cool. And Beatbox is trying to do this one treacherous piece right down here. There we go. Oh, that's what's taking him. He took his raincoat off. There we go. Blowing in my face the whole time. Second view of the day. Still plenty more to climb on this first one and then after that it'll be shorter climbs to different peaks here's another view still no sign of jacks hopefully he waits at this water source up here uh, and not rushes to fill up and leave trying to catch us or something because uh yeah, i don't think you'd have any other reason to rush off like you did except for thinking we already left but unless he didn't hear us we said we were going to be at the uh underneath the porch of the visitor center so either way if nothing else we'll catch up to him by the end of the day but yeah we'll see I almost try to see that mountain piece over there <sighs> just one big rock climbing event
clear enough from oh, my perspective. All we can do on a wet day, right? Oh, and I did hear from Jax. Uh, so I tried calling with some service that we got, but a text came through and he says I'm climbing. And I'm thinking, oh, no kidding. <laughs> but uh, at least he uh, is not just running off or anything. Like I said, there'd be no reason to, but he was probably eager to try out his new knee brace and compression socks and uh, <clears throat> see how the knees go. But this is also a big climb out of Pinkham Notch. So he was probably just ready and wanting to get up top. I'm slipping because on over the... Look who we found. So we did find Jax and he thought we were ahead. So uh, we're back, uh, taking this slow and steady, but it is a pretty fun climb. We were worried initially that it would be, you know, real tough and all this. And sure, it's like one of the straighter up climbs we've had and some slick rocks here and there, but enjoyable. Whew. Or as we were just talking about slippery rocks. Yeah. Might be a little shibiki. I don't know if we can see the mist, but we're still wet. But almost to the top of E. Just came out into this clearing and there's a ski lift. That's pretty neat. I've seen this on videos before. Wildcat Express. There you go. Okay, and that was the top of Wildcat E. And the biggest climb of the day is done. The rest of them are going to be uh, a few hundred footers to other peaks, as far as I've looked so far. Um, going down now at Wildcat D, C, B, and then Wildcat Mountain. So, taking it easy, playing it safe. This is wet. Uh, the rocks haven't been too bad though so far. We don't, we're already talking that we could have probably uh, moved out yesterday in that rain. But it is what it is. We had a good rest day. Uh, the first night had all you can eat Chinese buffet. I didn't get any video of that, of course. But uh, then pizza in town was great yesterday. Um, we watched a bunch of movies at the hostel with everybody. It was a great time. Uh, again, would highly recommend stopping there. Although he's talking about he doesn't know how much longer he'll be able to do it. So hopefully uh, he sells it to somebody who's going to keep it uh, as it is. But, oh, and it was on a one of them ghost hunter shows. Apparently it's uh, a haunted bed and breakfast house, if you believe that sort of thing. We watched the show, and um, some of the sound recordings that they had were reaching, but, you know, it's pretty cool. It's got a little haunted history. And uh, Paul, the main guy, was telling us about other guests here in, like, horses uh, out in the barn area where the hostel is. And he's like, we don't have horses. She's like, we heard them. We, where are they? We don't have them. So, you know, 
Could be, maybe not. I don't necessarily believe in ghosts, uh, but a lot of people do, so it's fun either way. But as you can see how slow even I'm moving. We're playing her safe today and tomorrow because there's more rain coming as they predict. But that could always change for better or worse. But still walking with my blown out shoe. I'll try to order something maybe and have it shipped to the post office where my bag is. And maybe pay to have it shipped quickly uh, so that I can have those be my final pair of the trip. But we'll see what happens. How's my. Uh... <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, you're good. They're in there. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say that we somehow did Wildcat D without noticing. And this is Wildcat C. And B looks like an easy hop over. And then the big Wildcat. Wildcat B done with. Slow and steady. And this is the top of Wildcat Mountain. Wildcat period? A. A. The Wildcat Mountain. Nice. Done. Easy. Not treacherous. <laughs> Uh, pretty sketchy sometimes, but uh, for the people that are watching this that aren't me in the future, it could get hairy on a rainy day, but we handled it. No big deal. Pond, we're taking a blue blaze to this one hut right over here. We're going to see if we can't just warm up for a minute. Maybe they got some hot soup. Here's a pond. Any moose? No moose? But if they had soup, it might be worth buying today. It's a lot cooler out and wetter than the other, all the other times we've been at huts. We've had great weather up until right now in the whites. That foggy Mount Washington day, I would not consider bad weather. Um, so, this is, uh oh. Let's see if we can do this with my phone in my hand. Ooh, little spin move, little stiff arm. Okay. Okay. Coming out of the Carter Notch hut. I've eaten jacks and chess. And we had some corn chowder. And now we're climbing up to Carter Dome. And it's getting cold, wet already. We're gonna play it safe. And uh, get a few more miles for the day, a couple peaks. And then set up shop for the night. Okay, this is the summit of Carter Dome. That's a pretty good climb, 
but doable, no problem. Probably this one. Okay, this looks to be the summit of Mount Height, H-I-G-H-T. As you can see, the weather is still awesome. Just kidding. But it was quite the mist. Got easier after we did the Carter Dome climb, as will I believe the next few peaks, but I guess we're up here. Another mountain. Right, still coming down Mount Height. And then we're going to make an ascent up to South Carter. Um, and then see how we're feeling. There's comments about uh, tent sites that can fit two and three, three and four. So we'll see how everybody's feeling. Uh, <clears throat> me personally, real good. Um, but as a team, uh, one of Jax's knees has uh, been hurting him for a while, like a month and a half or so, but it hasn't gotten like worse. It hasn't really gotten better, um, but he's been the yoga master for quite some time now. But then uh, Beatbox's knees are also uh, giving him some trouble. Um, he's had knee surgeries before. Um, and shoulder surgeries and other bunch of stuff but he is still crushing it as best he can and that's all we can do um, but yeah so we're gonna see how we're all feeling at that point because we've got uh, the comments say the mileage that these spots are in so we'll take a peek and see and then that would leave um, about the same mileage for tomorrow um, and then we're going to try to get into uh, Bethel, Maine. Uh, there's a couple stores there that we need to hit. Um, Carter Moriah Trail. There's some blazes. Okay. I'll wait for Beatbox just to make sure he knows the way, even though it's pretty self-explanatory. Jax is ahead. I'm kind of the runner between the two. Uh, here comes Beatbox. So we're going to carry on and make the climb up to uh, South Carter. Whew. South Carter Mountain. Right here. Whew. That was a tough climb. A lot of stair stepping action. But that's done with. It's in the bay. Alright, so we went 9.7 and got pretty cold, wet, it's raining still. Get my new hat from Mount Washington. Um, They're over there, and I'm in here, and kind of tough day, Let's see what tomorrow brings, we're going to try to get to Route 2, and go over to Bethel, Maine, and try to hit up a campground there, resupply. And keep it moving and get out of the whites. That would be nice. And then we'll be hitting Mahusik Notch shortly after that. And then hopefully it gets a little easier so we can cover some more ground each day. But, yep, all is well. Dinner's done. Wrapped up. Gonna be warm.